Out in the country, past the city limits sign, there's a bingo hall near the county line. The joint starts jumping every night when the sun goes down. They got card games, dice games, and dominoes too. It's where all the traditional gamers go to play some two-step dominoes. So this game comes to us from Paget.com under the Invented section. They also have domino games in there. After reading the rules uh, for a split second, I realized this is a card shedding game similar to Skipbo and Spite and Malice and plenty of others of the same variety. You're going to have a reserve that you're trying to get rid of and everything else is somewhat secondary. So I'll go ahead and uh, deal out five dominoes to each player. You'll turn the top one up. We'll keep them all face down. Then deal each player three dominoes. That will be known as your hand. Your reserve will be known as your dance card. And you'll also have a discard pile. Whoever has the highest double uh, will play it first. If nobody has a double uh, in their hand or in their reserve, uh, at the top of their reserve, then go ahead and take all the dominoes up and redeal. And hopefully the next deal, somebody will have a double. Until then, just keep redealing until somebody does have a double, either in the hand or on top of the reserve. Now, once that happens, once somebody has played the double, they will continue their turn until they can no longer shed dominoes. The object of the game, of course, is to get your entire dance card empty. If you're able to get your entire dance card empty, you will score one point. If you're able to get your dance card empty and your opponent has five dominoes still in their dance card, then you'll get two points. The first player to reach 10 points will win. If you somehow win by 11, you owe the other player a lemonade. At least that's according to the rules on Paget. So I went ahead and explained this in about five minutes, and we were off to playing. It was that quick of a game. We saw we had East put the double blank down, and I on the West went ahead and put a blank two, followed by a two three, followed by a three six. I'm getting my reserve down pretty well. Once the... Uh, player has had their hand emptied, they are able to draw three more dominoes, which I went ahead and did. And then I'm going to look and see if I have anything else I can play. Uh, doubles will get played vertically in this game. There's only two paths you can go, either to the north or south or left or right from your player's perspective. You will not be able to play more than one domino off of a double. You can do it horizontally or vertically. It doesn't really matter, but the point is you will only be able to play two dominoes off of a double and um, that's pretty much the just the game I went ahead and went out first I was able to get my reserve down to zero therefore I win the round and score one point and we start a whole another round where we shuffle everything together and we deal ourselves five dominoes for our reserve and three for our hand so everybody gets eight dominoes five go into the reserve you're not allowed to look at your reserve and the key thing to remember is you're allowed to play from your hand from your discard pile now your discard pile you're going to be stacking dominoes on top of each other. The ones that are stacked uh, below will not be playable. So there you see it. Neither one of us had a double. So we'll go ahead and redeal. Now, for some reason, if in the course of playing this game, neither player is able to uh, put down any more dominoes, you still have dominoes in both reserves, and nobody's able to make a legal play from their discard or from their um, reserve pile, then they are going to go ahead and collect all the dominoes up. The round will count for zero points because it will be considered to have had two left feet and therefore unable to dance. So there's a lot of dancing themes to this game, which is kind of fun. Uh, very, very interesting, easy to do shedder. And so that's why I, I just had to cover this game because I know simple games like this with dominoes, we don't really get a whole lot of them out there. There's maybe one or two, maybe three mainstream domino games that most people know and some regional uh, variants. If you know uh, recent immigrants from Cuba, you probably know about Cuban dominoes. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of culturally significant domino games out there. And so some of these invented games are quite interesting, so I have to cover them when I see them, especially if they're easy to understand games like this one. I think it definitely deserves the spotlight. So I have no other moves available, so I'm gonna go ahead and discard to my discard pile. So that's basically the course of this game either play dominoes and if you don't have anything uh, in your hand or in your uh, reserve to play then what you're going to do is you're going to discard a domino to your discard pile once that happens just like a lot of other rummies or a lot of uh, other card shedders like skip bow or spite and mouse that signals to your opponent that your turn is ended and just like skip bow if your hand is empty you're able to redraw three dominoes 
uh, back to the full hand. And there we have it. I managed to go out the reserve there, so I get another point. Because there's only two dominoes in my opponent's reserve. So you're going to play this until somebody has scored 10 points. And after that, the game is won by whoever scores 10 or more points. And in the rules, if you manage to win by 11, you owe somebody a lemonade. So like always, if you actually want to play a game like this in public against an opponent, otherwise a friend that you don't know, also known as a stranger, come to our subreddit, Card Game Meetups. Definitely post a place you want to do this at. Post your city, what games you know, what games you're willing to learn, and what games you're willing to teach. Click under the show more in the description and see a bunch of other videos, including a link to a Discord channel where you can talk about this domino game. There is a section for domino and dice games. So definitely call up your friends and let them know you'd like to play some dominoes. They might say yes, they might say no, but you never know exactly what they're going to say unless you call them. So go ahead and give them a call. Do like, subscribe, and share these videos with other people you know like playing card games. And do vote in this month's Game of the Month poll. I want to thank today's musician, and I'll see everybody next video.